In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble the power switch and mode selection switch on a Canon 60D. Now, if you haven't already removed this top part from the camera, be sure to watch my first video in this repair series, and it'll show you how to tear it down to get this part removed. The first thing that we'll do is to remove this small wire harness right here away from this plastic and from the back side of the dial. The first part that we'll take out is this screw right here. Now it holds this piece of metal on that has all these notches in it. Now the notches line up with this ball bearing here that has pressure on it from this spring right here. What that does is that keeps the dial in the position that you're selecting. So two things are going to happen when I take this screw out. First, the ball bearing is going to want to roll out. And second, the actual switch, the dial back here, is going to want to drop away. So you want to just make sure and hold your finger on the switch. And then when you take the screw out and this part comes out, watch the ball bearing because it's going to want to roll away. Now you can see the back side of this dial, this piece of metal that has the notches on it, actually has a set of contacts too. And there's the screw that was holding that piece of metal in. And here's the ball bearing. And we'll also take this spring out right here. There you go. And with that out, we can pull the back side or the, the actual knob off of there. And you can see there's a spring that's on that side too. Now we'll remove this screw right here, which holds this set of contacts on. That actually is also holding the main power switch knob. So when we take that screw out, this is going to come out also. Be sure to hold your finger on the back side to support it while you're pushing down on the screw. So now with that screw out of there, you can just lift this part right off. And you can also pull this out. This is just a spring that keeps the uh, main power switch in the correct position after you move it. That's the click that you feel. See, without it, it just turns real easy. Okay, that's all the pieces to the mode selection switch and the power switch. The only other part is this contact set right here, but I'm not taking that off. Now, if you're having problems with your power switch and or your mode switch, the thing you're going to have to check for is corrosion on this set of contacts right here. Use some cleaner and clean that up if there is corrosion on it. The other places that you need to check are the set of contacts that ride on top of it. Make sure these are clean also. This one is for the mode selection here. And this one is for the power. So just make sure that all these little contacts are clean. So to put it back together, the first thing that we'll put back in is the last piece that we took out. 
the spring that is used for keeping the power switch in its whatever position you have it in. Just lay it in there, line up one of the sides here, and then you'll have to put pressure on the other side and bend it up a little bit until it falls in there. Then we put the power switch knob on. Okay, now we'll put the brush or the contact that goes on the back side of this power switch and we'll mount it back up on top. There's a set of little notches in here and some bumps on the plastic piece so that you can line it up before you put the screw in. Be sure to support the switch with your finger on the back side as you push down on that screw. Then test it. Make sure it stays in place when you push it. And that means that spring is properly uh, installed. Okay, now we'll put the mode selection dial back on. Be sure to put the spring on there. Don't want to forget that. Now just lightly push down on it as you turn it and you'll feel it snap into place. And then hold pressure on it. Okay, the next piece that we're going to put on is this piece of metal that has the, the little notches in it. But something that uh, you need to see first is on this side right here, there's actually a small notch. It's only on one side of this hole, right? It's on this one, it's right here. Okay, that notch is going to need to line up with this little bump right here. So when you put that on, make sure that that's closely lined up. Okay, we'll line up our notches. And remember, I'm also putting pressure on the back side with this finger. So otherwise that that knob is going to want to come back out. But just line them up. Now it's going to it's not going to stay on there real good until you get the screw in there, but just keep it generally lined up on those notches. And once the screw is started, then you can make sure it's turning it and make sure it's aligned as you tighten down on it. All right, this part is going to be the fun part, and that's going to be getting the spring and the ball bearing back inside here. Now, the way I've been doing it, is I back these two screws back about a turn and a half. One there and then this one right here. And that allows this plastic piece to lift up just slightly. Then we just put the ball bearing in there. Push it down so that it's inside the notch on that piece of metal. The thing you need to watch for is don't back these screws out so far that that ball bearing can come back out of here. Next, put the spring in there. Make sure this piece of plastic is lifted up as far as you can get it with those screws loosened. And then Put the screwdriver not on the end of the spring, but like in the first notch below the end. And kind of angle it towards the ball bearing. And then push down. 
and then pop it in there. Now, after you do that, you'll want to do the same thing with the other end because right now that ball bearing is not lined up with this end. So just pull this end of the spring back and then the ball bearing can snap into place. Then make sure that you tighten down both of these screws. And make sure that you test it. And make sure and double check that this white notch lines up with the, the right indicator. So that's as far as it goes that way. And we turn it this way. And you can see it's lined up. So everything's good there. The last thing to do is to put the wire back in the little grooves behind these little posts like there's a post right here and then it goes behind this piece right here up and over down through this notch and then back up and it comes on this side of that little piece of plastic right there just like that and that's all there is to it